Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to kill an elm tree for good. What is the best way to kill an elm tree, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Steve with HowToKillATree.com and I'm just a normal guy like you, but I've interviewed tons of arborists to figure out what actually can kill these elm trees. Because I'll tell you what, I've tried salt, I've tried Roundup, and I've tried girdling, I've tried a bunch of these different things, and they don't actually kill trees. So the number one product that Arborist recommended was called Tordon. Now I'll put a link in the description for you can buy this on Amazon, it's not that expensive, but this stuff actually kills trees, even elm trees. It's just a really powerful chemical that can just wipe them out. And so using salt or girdling, copper nails, any of those things, probably not going to kill an elm tree. But Tordon will kill an elm tree. <laughs> so I have got this uh, elm tree growing up in this Rose of Sharon that I have in front of my fourplex and it's time for it to go. It's got out of control. I didn't see it for a long time because it was just kind of hidden in there. But now it's kind of just gotten way too big and it's going to take over the Rose of Sharon. So I'm going to cut it down and we're going to kill this thing. So one thing to know when you're killing a tree with Tordon is you want to be safe because this stuff is toxic. So wear eye protection, wear long sleeves and pants, and then you want chemical resistant gloves because you don't want to get this stuff on your skin. Anyway, I read the safety instructions that says mildly toxic for your eyes, but I don't buy that. I think this stuff is very toxic. So if it can kill an elm tree, it's probably freaking toxic. It's something you don't want on your skin. Looks like I bought two left-handed gloves. Dang it! So first thing you want to do to kill an elm tree is cut it down to a stump. So you can see here is where the, it's coming out of the ground. And so I'm going to try to cut this as low to the ground as I can because I don't want to have to remove the stump because anyway, so I'm just going to cut it as low to the ground as I can and then you treat immediately after that. I'm just going to use the Sawzall because it's easy. The nice thing about this Tordon, it's just got this little pop lid, so it's really easy just to kind of squirt out on the tree. So it's super easy to use. Okay, so that's all that's left in the ground. This little teeny stump. So the trick with killing a tree is after you immediately cut it down, you want to treat it. You don't want to wait for a day or two. You want to treat it right after you cut it down because a tree will immediately begin healing itself. Doesn't take a lot and that's it. If you can fresh cut it, and treat it with Tordon, this thing will die and it will never come back. So this tree is as good as gone and this stump will rot out and it's totally done. Well that's it, that's how to kill an elm tree. So there's a lot of other ways you can try to kill an elm tree, but this is the most effective, best way to kill an elm tree. If you wanna learn all the other ways, I think I have like five or six other ways that will actually kill elm trees, you can check out my website howtokillatree.com slash elm and that will take you straight to that page that will give you tons of different ways for how to kill an elm tree. Thanks, make sure to subscribe, leave any comments if you have any ideas of how to better kill elm trees and we will see you next time.